Francis, was yeah, it? Yeah. Um, yes, um, he he was really one of the wealthiest of the, of the um, young um, British men that are uh, involved in the Western land capture. And this is explained because he was um, orphaned at a very early age, and so he had to, he was the main heir of all his, uh, the land, he was, uh, the, the family uh, owned mines in Cornwall in South England, and the, the mines became very rich, increasingly, we're very, we're doing very well with the mines, and he uh, had, um, very important incomes to spend in Italy, and this is, he was a little bit different from his, uh, the other uh, people involved in the Westmoreland, because uh, like Lord Lewisham and Lord Duncanon, um, they were uh, the eldest son of the, uh, of the actual earls and, um, and, and duchess and, duch and dukes, so they didn't have, uh, they were not on, on control of all their incomes, but they, it was their parents, Whereas Bassett was uh, the only heir, and he travelled to Italy with his tutor William Sons, who had been specially trained uh, to to guide him as a tutor. And he travelled. He left England in 1776, and he travelled through France, spent time in France, crossed the Alps, went to Florence and um, Venice, and then to Rome, where he acquired um, a lot of the of the objects that you that you will show. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to have a portrait by one of the major painters in Rome at that day, who was Pompeo Batoni. And he um, depicted him in a very traditional uh, way uh, for Batoni portraits. Uh, so he is laying um, against um, a pedestal of the classical sculpture, and in the background you can see uh, some Costa Sant'Angelo and St. Peter's. And so this was the kind of uh, very traditional portrait that they, they would have. Mm -hmm.